The Mid Peninsula is part of the San Francisco Bay Area and has some of the most expensive real estate in the country. In towns such as Atherton, Menlo Park, and Palo Alto, homes routinely sell for $5 million or more, and very often for much more. The area is the headquarters of some of the most famous and successful technology companies in the world, and its residents are among the most wealthy and affluent in the country. But there is another side to this area. Its residents also include a large and growing population of homeless people. And unfortunately, this population is growing larger every year. It is estimated that there are approximately 3,000 homeless people in San Mateo County alone, estimated only because it is difficult to get an accurate count because the homeless tend to be very transient. The homeless live in vehicles, in tent cities, or simply on the streets. Homelessness can result from many different sources, but primarily it is the result of a mental or physical disability, drug or alcohol addiction, post-traumatic stress disorder, or simply the individual does not have sufficient income to be able to support a permanent residence, even one that is so-called affordable or low income, which is most often neither affordable or low income. David Sheeran, pastor of Street Life Ministries, was himself a product of a very difficult background. He was also homeless, had serious drug and alcohol addiction problems, and had engaged in multiple criminal activities. But through spiritual inspiration, David found a path and the resolve to overcome these problems and to reform his life. He also saw a compelling need to try to help other homeless people. So Street Life Ministries was founded 20 years ago. Its goal was to provide the basic necessities of food, clothing, and essential health care and sanitation supplies to the homeless. Using shared kitchen and storage facilities borrowed from a local church and many, many volunteers, high school students, local residents, and the like, SLM provides approximately 50,000 healthy and nutritious meals each year to the homeless. These meals, as well as clean clothing and basic health care supplies, are distributed four nights each and every week from outdoor venues in Redwood City, Menlo Park, and Palo Alto. SLM also has a van that serves as a mobile distribution center, which visits nearby homeless encampments to distribute food, clothing, and other supplies. The needs for its services have now far outstripped Street Life's ability to meet these needs. The ministry does not have access to adequate kitchen and storage facilities to expand its services any further, despite an ever-growing population of homeless persons. Since SLM has successfully accomplished its initial objective in providing food and other necessary essentials to its clients, it is now prepared to launch its second objective, called Homeless to Healthy. The vision for that initiative is to provide a comprehensive program to move 10 to 20 people each year from homelessness to full recovery with both a permanent job and housing. This program will consist of a structured recovery program done in conjunction with other social service agencies. The second phase will be to provide vocational job training, initially focused on the food service sector. These skills will help the program participants to secure and maintain employment. Finally, SLM will work to obtain permanent living facilities for each participant. Fortunately, Street Life Ministries has recently received from a local family a $1 million challenge gift the ministry is launching an initiative to raise the additional $1 million that will be matched dollar for dollar by the challenge gift. We are soliciting corporations, foundations, and individuals for support with this much-needed initiative.